Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with Tech Out. Today we're going to be taking a look at and installing the Philips Hue uh, Play Bar Light, Play Light Bar. Um, what this is is a white and color LED light bar for behind a monitor, behind a TV, um, up on top of a cabinet, something like that. You can place this up there for some ambient lighting. I'm going to be placing this hopefully behind my TV. We'll see exactly how that works out. Um, there's a few different ways to mount this in here, so I'm hoping one of the ways it works where I can mount it behind my TV with it not having to be under the TV and visible when you're sitting in front of it. Um, so this, they do sell these in two packs, I believe. Um, tells you right here what you need to get started. Um, I already have uh, a Hue system, so I already have my Hue bridge connected to my router. All that kind of stuff is set up. Um, so there is all that. Um, just some more user manuals and stuff right there. Um, here is the light bar itself. Um, so it's got a couple different mounting points on there. It's got two different ones. We'll take a look at this in a second. I'm going to put that off to the side. Let's see here. Um... Right here is the uh, boxes. Right, so we've got uh, some adhesive, so that's what I'm hoping to use for the TV. We've got a little screw and an Allen wrench right there. We've got one of the plates, I believe this is to um, mount it like so. You can use that as a base. What I'm hoping to do is put it on the, the back of the TV and kind of angle it like off a little bit. So I'm hoping there's a way to way to do that in here. Got a power prong right here for the power adapter. Let's see, here is the power adapter itself. Um, so this actually has three plugs on the bottom of it, so you can plug up to three light bars in and only have to take up one outlet, which is nice. And then we have one more uh, mount over here, it looks like. Hey, if I took both sides of the box out, it would fold open. Um, so this one is a little stand, and you can see the circle on the bottom right here where you can place the sticky pad if you want to use that. If not, it does have some rubber feet on here so you can stand it up. Um, what I'm hoping to do is to um, mount this on the back of the TV so I can angle it up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go work it with the placement on the back of the TV and before I mount it or right after I mount it, I'll show you guys what I did. Um, but I want to get the best light possible shining up on the wall behind the TV. Alrighty guys, so I went ahead and mounted the light bar behind the TV. What I did is I just used the sticky tape and I, I mounted it basically directly in the middle or the vase amount would go. So I used that to kind of center it. Um, I can't, it's kind of hard to show you back there because I can't get my camera over there behind the TV. Um, but I did get the light set up so it is set up in the Hue app and I also set it up in HomeKit. So one of the cool things about having an Apple TV right here is all I have to do is go TV light off. TV off. Oops, I guess it actually turns the TV off. I didn't didn't realize it would do that. I need to rename it so I can use a different name. Anywho, uh, well, yeah, you can use Siri on the Apple TV, obviously, to control the light. I'll leave the TV off for now because you can kind of see it better. Um, but right here on the HomeKit app, we have all your different light colors. Um, so I can change it to purple if I want. I can go back to the other color. Uh, we can turn it on or off, adjust the brightness, stuff like that. Um, we can edit all these colors. We can do the color temperature. Sorry, you can't see that. Uh, do the color temperature, all that. You can do all those colors. Um, so all that right there in HomeKit on the Home app on iPhone um, or iPad. You can also use the Hue app. Let me turn the TV back on here, and I'll show you that. Let's see. As you can see, this is the new Apple TV. I got the 4K with the Dolby Vision. Office TV off. So there we go. It's called Office TV, so that's what the light's called. Office TV on. Office TV blue. 
Office TV Purple. Office TV Neon Red. And another one. Office TV Red. Office TV Yellow. Office TV White. There we go. So we're back to the white light. Office TV Orange. I can't figure out what the what the color is called that um, is like the relax color in the Hue app. Um, it's on here on the iPhone though. It's this. That's the orange right now. It's this one. It's kind of like the default light that it comes on when you first plug it in. But that is the Hue LED light bar set up behind my TV. Looks really nice. I can't wait to try this out at night um, when I'm watching TV and have this light on. Again, you can adjust the brightness so it's a little bit too bright at night. You can turn that down a little bit. Um, they also have a kit I think you can plug in HDMI to your TV and the lights will change color based on your um, based on your what your TV is showing. But it was like $200 so I went ahead and just stuck with the light for now. But maybe I'll add that later on if I want to, you know add more to my setup or something like that but this is enough for now works great um this is the hue led light bar i'm colin with tech out don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and as always have a great day